Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door boot seal in an LG washer. It's going to be a relatively easy job and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat lead screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a pair of side cutters, a zip tie, some liquid soap, and a door boot seal clamp pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new door boot seal. The door boot seal connects the outer top to the door frame, sealing the gap between them. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it gets cut by sharp objects in the laundry, causing a water leak. To get to the part, we need to remove the top panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two lower bracket screws. Pull back the top panel about an inch and then lift it off the washer. We need to pull out the detergent drawer assembly. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two mounting screws, one on each side of the detergent drawer opening. Remove the Phillips screw from the back of the control panel on the right side. Pull the top of the control panel up and towards you to unclip it and lift it off. Place the control panel on the top of the washer. Release the wire harness from the retaining clip if the wires are too short. Open the pump filter cover at the bottom left corner. Unclip the drain holes and take out the Phillips screw that holds the housing. Remove the filter cover housing. Take out the Phillips screw at the bottom of the front panel. Open the door and using the flat blade screwdriver, pry off the outer door boot clamp and remove it. Remove the boot seal from the front panel lip and tuck it in. Reach in and disconnect the harness plug from the door latch assembly. Close the door. Move up and using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screws at the top of the front panel. Lift the front panel of the bottom hinges. Using the side cutters, cut the zip tie off and pull out the light. Using the pliers, slide up the clamps and pull out two hoses. Make sure you remember which one goes where. One on the left is attached to the water recirculation pump down below, and the one on the right is attached to the steamer housing on the top. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the nozzle connector. Now we need to remove the inner boot seal clamp. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry the inner clamp off and remove the boot seal. Wash away any soap scum and residue from the outer top lip. This is the old door boot seal next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Before installing the new door boot seal, use some liquid soap to lubricate the inner groove. It will make the process much easier.
This arrow should be pointed up. Install the boot seal over the top lip. Place the inner door boot clamp into the groove. Lock the door boot seal clamp pliers on the spring's loops. Stretch the spring and place the loop over the hook. Remove the pliers. Make sure the clamp is in the groove all around the door seal and then give the seal a few tugs to check if it's installed properly. Put some soap on the nozzle and install it into the gasket. Soap the cutout in the seal and install the light. Install the recirculation holes into the left opening and the steam holes into the right one. Using the pliers, Secure both of them with the clamps. Place and tie the zip tie around the light. Using the side cutters, cut the extra piece off. Place the front panel on the three bottom hinges and align it with the side tabs. Secure the front panel at the top with the screws using the Phillips screwdriver. Open the door. Reach inside and connect the door latch harness plug to the switch. Install the door boot seal over the front panel lip. Place the outer boot clamp in the groove with the spring at the bottom. Place the front boot clamp around the door boot seal with a spring at 6 o'clock. Insert the clamp pliers into the spring loops, stretch the spring and install the clamp into the groove. Close the door. Now we can go down and using the Phillips screwdriver install the bottom mounting screw. Put the pump filter housing in and secure it with the Phillips screw. Clip in the drain hose and close the cover. Install the control panel and clip it in. Make sure the control panel harness is in the retainer clip. Secure it with the two Phillips screws at the front on both sides of the detergent drawer and then with one Phillips screw from the back of the panel. Slide the detergent drawer in. Place the top panel on and push it forward to lock in. 
secured with the two Phillips screws from the rear. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.